Hello boys and girls, welcome to Pioneers TV episode 3 from Sector 5. In today's show, we'll be traveling to Finland with Henrietta, we'll be looking at some of the upcoming speakers, and we have a competition where you can win two more tickets and a brilliant prize. And, of course, we have a guest here, Stefan from Sunnybag, the CEO. Welcome to the show. Hello Daniel, thank you for the invitation. It's an honor to be here. <laughs> it's our pleasure to have you here. So Stefan, tell me, what's your product? Uh, the product is a sunny bag. What is a sunny bag? It's a bag with flexible solar panels uh, outside who charge an integrated battery pack which is in the bag and from this battery pack you will be able to charge mobile phones, mp3 players, all kind of USB devices. Does it charge a phone as quickly as from a normal socket? Yeah, it uh, absolutely uh, has the same power than normal power plug, and um, but it's solar energy, and envi environmentally friendly solar energy in this case. Tell me, how, d how did you come up with that idea? Um, yeah, it was back in 2000, uh, two 2007, I, I got the first uh, iPhone uh, in the late 2007, and I saw that uh, this smartphone need a lot of power, and I used it the whole day and uh, I decided to create a, a case with a solar panel, an iPhone case with a solar panel on the back and the power management uh, in between. And I tested uh, this case um, and I saw that um, the panels are too, too, um, too small, the, the size of the whole system is too small. And um, then I made um, uh, a, a systematic uh, analysis of the whole system and I saw that I need uh, way bigger panels like this one and the next step was to think where can I integrate these big panels? Integrate, um, should I integrate it in clothes or somewhere else? And I, I saw the potential on these um, shoulder bags for example or also on backpacks and yeah that was the first step for some new prototypes so I integrated it in, in shoulder bags um, with the help of my, my, my brother who can stitch the panels into bags and um, it was um, one year later, mid-2008, that I made a, a small uh, web shop with the bags and the, the whole startup started. <laughs> and, and tell me, does it only work when, when, once I have the phone plugged in and I run around or does it store the energy? Uh, exactly, yeah, it stores the energy. The battery pack, which is built in, in the bag, stores the solar energy. And so I can use it also at night, for example, to charge my iPad, for example. And how long does it take to charge the batteries fully of the bag? A uh, good question. Um, it takes two hours in direct sunlight to fully recharge an iPhone, for example, or a competitive phone like the iPhone. And um, that's um, a good mark, I would say. Two hours is, is not so much. So perfect use case seems to be for me traveling. Yeah, right. Um, we also made uh, bags for um, aid organizations, for example, like um, Doctors Without Borders. Um, we developed uh, since two and a, uh, two, it's two and a half years ago. We developed the first prototypes for them, and they used our bags, or currently also use our bags in um, Congo, in South Sudan, uh, in all uh, kind of crisis areas to charge also um, medical uh, products as well as also some satellite phones or mobile phones. Yeah. So it's also a highly durable product. Exactly, yeah. So it's not just a gadget, it really works. Yeah, it really works. Um, there are some competitors in Europe, um, but um, we had some really good t test results based on a, on a test of a university in Germany who tested all the competitors as well as our product. And um, we are really proud of the, the results. And maybe that's the reason why health organizations, for example, uh, came to us. Nice, that sounds pretty good to me, but I'd love to see how it works. Could you show us? Yeah, for sure. So we have the integrated battery pack, which is right there. It's, uh, by the way, made in Germany. And we connect the solar panels on the battery pack. And from the battery pack, we have a USB port, um, same as on, on a notebook or on a PC. And we connect, uh, connect our cable, in this case, with a connector of an iPhone and charge it with solar energy. Um, sometimes you have another phone as well, so we have uh, other connectors for all kinds of mobile phones, and it's fully integrated in the whole system. So you get everything you see here. Nice, so it's ready for every type of picnic. No matter what kind of a phone I have, I can load it up, exactly. relax. Exactly, perfect, very nice. So we've seen that it works, and it works really well, but tell me, what was the biggest challenge you faced when you started up? 
There were a lot of challenges. Um, first, uh, the, the, the solar panels itself, um, I did a big screening worldwide for flexible solar panels. Um, next, next challenge was the power management. Power management. We um, had some uh, uh, productions or uh, manufacturers in Asia and we had big quality problems always for more than two years. So we decided to make the, uh, to produce the battery packs in Germany. And yeah, right now we try to sell the product to potential customers and uh, that's also a challenge, of course. So I presume a product like yours is quite cost intense. How are you funded? Uh, it's uh, funded by my own um, and uh, we raised the money by using the cash flow we generated from the first day, first uh, selling uh, products. And now we are also looking forward for some business angels. Okay, so if you're VC and listening in, you might want to invest into this young man. Or, of course, you could take up the opportunity and meet him one-on-one -on -one at the Pioneers Festival in October. You heard it here first, look him up. Um, next question would be, how's your team? How many people are you? Right now we have uh, seven employees and it's a really big adventure, but the team is great and uh, every day I love uh, every day working on Sunnybag. Tell me now a quick question. In a country where there's not so much sun, how does it work? Does it also work? Yes, of course it works on cloudy days. It just takes longer. Nice, because I think it would be perfect fit for our very own Henrietta, who's been traveling to Finland. So let's see what she's been up to. So we're here in Finland. We caught up with Paul Bragiel. Uh, Paul, you want to tell us what's made your life the most easiest? What's been the technical innovation? <laughs> so there's one innovation that actually changed my life, right? Um, it's this cool yeah, thing yeah. called a modem. <laughs> Before people like to people actually modems might be older than a lot of my people in my audience, but um, actually modems are actually what took computers and connected them to other human beings and made it to a communication platform, and that to me is what changed my life. I would say it was it's super huge. Mods, but I would say it's textile materials that dry extremely fast, and the reason is I travel a lot, I exercise a lot, and I pretty much have to do laundry every single day. And the materials that don't dry get extremely stinky and it's impossible to travel and sort of stuff all that wet stuff into my uh, suitcase. So all the textile materials that dry in a matter of minutes or hours. Uh, yeah, that's kind of like a tough one, but as you're asking now, and okay, I'm carrying my trusty uh, I, uh, iPad here. So I would say that the iPad has been really helpful for me. So now I don't need to carry anything but uh, the iPad, so I left kind of like laptops and stuff behind. So. The iPad has at least made uh, my car like carry on on the flights a bit wider, <laughs> so it's, it's pretty good. Okay, cool. And um, yeah, uh, will we see you at Pioneers in uh, October? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I uh, hear great things about the event and, and uh, haven't been to Vienna for a while, so I'm uh, really looking forward to catching up with the local startup scene and uh, you know, see what's, what's happening uh, over there. Okay, awesome. Thanks yeah. a lot. So what was the most important innovation for you in your life? The most important innovation for me was um, the PC, I, have, yeah, I would say. Yeah. In the mid-90s I got a 200 megahertz uh, machine and um, I started building some websites for, for companies, explored the internet um, in the end of the 90s. And right now also I have to say Sunnybeck wouldn't be here without the internet, without our web shop and without the community behind it. I think that's actually quite a common story you share with quite a few participants of the upcoming Pioneers Festival in October in Vienna. Now let's have a look at some of the hottest and newest speakers we've got to announce. Rob Fitzpatrick is a Y Combinator alumni and mentor startups at Seed Camp and Hack Forward. Charles Van Abercron is founder and global CEO of Glossybox and was involved in the international rollout of Groupon. Marta Riemats is founder and CEO of Riemats Automobili. They developed the fastest electric car in the world, the Concept One. If you want to see one of these great speakers close up and in person, be sure not to miss the awesome Pioneers Festival in October in Vienna. So tell me, what's the future of Sunnybag? What have we got to expect? Uh, this year we will make a rollout in Germany and Switzerland for our product. Next year uh, in Silicon Valley, in, in California at all. Um, and the next product will be a very interesting product for outdoor sports, um, but I can't uh, speak too much about it right now. So if you want to get your hands on our very own Pioneers Festival Special Edition Sunny Bag, be sure to join our competition. And you can win two tickets for the Pioneers Festival. 
All you need to do is tweet the link to our video together with the hashtag PF12TV, and you need a bit of luck. So, let's have a look at last month competition winner. And the two Pioneers Festival tickets go to Eric Jonsson. Congratulations, see you in October. So if you had the chance to meet one Pioneer, who would it be and why? One Pioneer, um, I would take an Austrian, I would take uh, Didi Mateschitz because he um, formed a brand um, like Red Bull out of nothing. And uh, for Sunnybeck it's also very important to form a, a brand behind uh, the solar bags. Sunnybeck itself should be a strong brand with a good, uh, well quality product behind it. And uh, that would be really interesting to meet him. Listen, thank you so much for the insight and your time. It's a pleasure having you here. Thank you. Thank you again. And thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure not to miss next show. See you soon.